whoa, almost went over my head, but I caught it. Hey, Pat O'Neill, you here, your pigskin pronosticator? Pronosticated pretty good last week, got me 10 wins. FanDuel had to do some paying. Uh, remember, bet with your head. On FanDuel, you can bet like a dollar, I think. Five bucks, don't go crazy. You know, we got two weeks left of the NFL season, then the playoffs. Uh, you got some interesting things. My spots are going to be a little off if you're looking at the paper, especially when it comes to the 49ers and the Raider game, because they benched Derek Carr, and the line I booked in at six lines up to, uh, I think, ten and a half last I looked. But let's start it. Again, Thursday night, the Cowboys at Titans. You know, Titans had a good start for the year. Tanning Hill got hurt. Uh, they still got a defense. They still got Henry. I'm going to take those Titans a big spot. It's 10 and a half, but they got a good defense. I got a lot of faith in their coach, uh, Babel. Uh, I'm going to take the Titans against the Cowboys. Titans plus 10 and a half over under 40 and a half. Sunday, 1 o'clock. Panthers at Bucks. This is a uh, battle for first place here. The Panthers are game behind the Bucks. It comes down to Sam Donald versus uh, Tom Brady. I'm going to go with the Brady's. I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, minus three, over under 40 and a half. Sunday, 1 o'clock, Browns at Washington. Somewhere along the line, uh, Watson's going to show why they gave him $250 million guaranteed, and I think it's this week. Washington starting Carson went. They dropped Heineke. The kid went six, one and one. Yeah, you want to drop him after last week? Uh, I think that's a sign of desperation there by Washington. I'm going to go with those Browns, plus one and a half, over under 40 and a half. Sunday, one o'clock, Saints at Eagles. Got Minshew. Maybe, look, that guy's not a bad quarterback, Minshew. Got the mustache going on. I'm going to go with Minshew uh, versus the Saints. I'm going to take the Eagles, minus six and a half. Over one that I don't have there. I don't know why. I didn't write it down. I'm getting really sloppy with these. 43. Over under 43, I'll be at signal. Sunday, 1 o'clock. Cards at Falcons. Uh, you got the third round draft choice uh, reading, uh, starting for the Falcons. The Cards, is it McSorley? McSorley almost beat uh, Tampa Bay last week. It was one of the games I lost. I'm going to go with those Cards. I'm going to take the three and a half. These are two equally dismal teams. I'm going to take the cards plus three and a half. What's the over on, uh, under on that? 45? 45. Don't worry. We'll have it on the screen. Uh, Sunday, 1 o'clock. Jag that Texan. I have won the last two weeks with the Texans. I had 70 points the weeks before, 17 points. And I think last week I had 14, one both. It's down a bit. We got the Jaguars that Texans. I'm still going to roll with the Texans. Minus four and a half, over under 43 and a half. Oh, I see what happened. I changed uh, markers when I was writing these cards. Yeah, I see why I don't have the over under there. Sunday, 1 o'clock. Bears at the Lions. The Lions have got to win. I'm going to ride with those Lions. I'm going to take the Lions versus the Bears. Lions are at home also. Lions minus 5.5. They're predicting a high-scoring game here. Lions minus 5.5 over under 52.5. Sunday, 1 o'clock. Dolphins at Patriots. Teddy Bridgewater is going to start. Uh, Tua is back in uh, concussion protocol. Uh, you know, for Tua is there, I look at the game differently. Not that Teddy Bridgewater is a bad quarterback. I'm going to go with the Belichicks. I'm going to take the Patriots minus two and a half at home. Over under 41 and a half. Sunday, one o'clock. Broncos at KC. Broncos got rid of uh, Nathan Hatchett. That was Aaron Rodgers, uh, former offensive coordinator. Uh, Russell Wilson is back. There's a lot of, lot of finger pointing going around in Denver. What Denver needed to do, when you brought in Russell Wilson, you bring in his offense. What they did, they brought in Aaron Rodgers' offense. And that was the problem here. You might see uh, Sean Payton here with the Broncos. But I'm going to figure the team's going to try to win for the interim coach. Uh, I'm going to take those Broncos. Hard to say this, the Broncos, who I lost huge with last week. I'm going to take the Broncos plus 13 and a half. As I said last week, KC doesn't normally cover the spread. They did last week. I don't think they will this week. Sunday, 1 o'clock, the Colts at my Giants. The Giants win. They're in the playoff. The Colts are dismal. They're starting Nick Foles. They've, got, they've started everybody so far with the Colts. I don't know if Jeff Saturday is the answer there. 
Uh, and the answer might be Derek Carr uh, going to the Colts next year. It's his turn. They've been taking a different quarterback every year for the last three years. I'm going to take the Giants at home because i got the blue on. I'm going to take the Giants minus 4.5 over under 38.5. 4 o'clock, Jets at Seahawks. Mike White is starting again. He's all better. I don't think that's going to make a difference because Geno Smith is there. And Geno Smith would like nothing better than take some revenge on his old team. I'm going to take the Seahawks at home plus one and a half over on the 42 and a half. Four o'clock game. The 49ers at the Raiders. I mentioned this before. When I locked in, I was uh, the 49ers uh, was minus six. If you check today, it's 49ers minus 10, 10 and a half. I got it as 49ers minus six versus the Raiders. Uh, the kid that threw about a zillion interceptions when he was with New England. Stetman is uh, starting for uh, the Raiders. It's not going to be good. Uh, four o'clock game. The Vikes at the Pack. The Pack has got their feet back on the ground. They're working. They're working the, the pass. They're, they're running. Could they use Devontae Adams? Devontae Adams is going to look at that Raiders situation a little bit different now because he went to the Raiders to be with his old buddy, Derek Carr. I'm going to take the Aaron Rodgers gang and the Packers. Pack minus three versus the Vikes over under 48 and a half. Four o'clock game. Rams at Chargers. I'm going to go with the Chargers. I, I tell you what, Justin Herbert is, is a tremendous quarterback. Uh, the Rams are uh, depleted. They're sitting people. You know, you got Baker Mayfield starting, who may be starting a QB controversy in La La Land there. But right now, I'm going to take the Chargers, minus six and a half, over run to 40 and a half. So now I'm looking for a lot of scoring in that. I am. Eight o'clock game. Steelers at Ravens. I've been winning with them Steelers, and I'm hoping to do it again this week. Steelers at Ravens. Steelers plus three, over run to 35 and a half. Another predicted low scoring game. And Monday night, the game of the week. Buffalo Bills at the Cincinnati Bengals. Josh Allen, Joe Burrow. I, I think the Bengals have got everything going on, but so do the Bills. Just that the Bengals have a better running game. I'm going to take the Bengals. Minus, plus, Bengals plus one and a half. Overrun the 49 and a half. Enjoy the games. Happy New Year. Don't overdo it. I'll see you next week. Good night.